हेलो एवरी वन आई एम प्रियंका गौर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल लर्निंग विद पेज सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज विलियम शेक्सपियर विलियम शेक्सपियर वॉज बॉर्न इन द ईयर ऑफ फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी फोर एंड डाइड इन द ईयर ऑफ सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन ही वॉज कॉल्ड इंग्लैंड नेशनल पॉइट ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी फोर एट स्ट्रेटफोर्ड अपोन एवोन एंड एवोन इज अ रिवर बैन जॉनसन रिमार्क्स समथिंग अबाउट शेक्सपियर एंड ही सेज दैट शेक्सपियर नोज मोर लैटिन एंड लेस ग्रीक He used around fifteen thousand words and wrote pure in English. Shakespeare, at the age of eighteen, got married to Annie Hathaway, and she was eight years senior to him. In fifteen eighty six or around fifteen eighty seven, Shakespeare left his native town, that is Stratford, and came to London. And during this period, University Wits had already renovated English drama. In 1592 Robert Greene mentioned Shakespeare as upstart crow and if we talk about his shares he became a shareholder in the Globe and Blackfriars and it is very important from examination point of view Shakespeare stayed in London for around 20 years and about 1610 Shakespeare left London for Stratford and Shakespeare died on April 23 1616 and you have to remember this date April 23 because he was born on the same date and he was not just a dramatist he was theater owner and actor and playwright he wrote around 154 sonnets and historical plays was around 10 and long poems four comedies seven and 11 tragedies the period of shakespeare's literary activity which span around 24 years that is 5088 1588 to 1612 and is divided into uh, four sub periods so we'll going to discuss every period one by one so the first period is 1588 to 1596 and it is a period of early experimentation and in this period shakespeare first retouched and revised titus andronicus the first part of henry 6 uh, and loves labor lost which shows the influence of lily and it is very very important the comedy of errors the two gentlemen of verona which is a sentimental romance and a midsummer night's dream which is also another romance so he wrote his first love tragedy that is romeo and juliet in 1592 Shakespeare was also influenced by the patriotic feeling that represented in Marlowe's and Peele's plays and under the influence of Marlowe and Peele he began his great series of historical plays and he wrote Richard 2 and Richard 3 and this period his first period came to an end with King John in 1596 and he wrote early verse 2 the rape of lucrece and venus at adonis which also belong to this period so shakespeare's first period uh, like the dramatic work he wrote in first period is quite immature let's talk about the second period which starts from 1596 to 1600 and it is a period of great rapid growth and development in shakespeare's work and in his dramas and shakespeare wrote great comedies and chronicle plays during this period and this is also frequently asked question in exam in exams so you have to remember that in second period he produced great comedies and chronicle plays so the first one is the merchant of venice in which shakespeare attained mastery over his arts so after the merchant of venice he wrote the taming of shrew a pure comedy full of wit and next is the merry wives of windsor which is also another fine comedy and you will find trio of famous love comedies that belongs to this period much ado about nothing as you like it and it has substitute name also what you will and next is the 12th night and he wrote some historical plays also henry 4 part 1 and 2 and henry 5 so let's discuss about third period the third period which starts from 1601 to 1608 and it is a period of shakespeare's supreme masterpiece and you will find full maturity of his dramatic talent and you will find some great tragedies hamlet macbeth king lear othello julius caesar bitter and somber comedies also belongs to this period all's well that ends well measure for measure troilus and cressida 
the fourth period starts from 1608 to 1613 and this is the last period opens with antony and cleopatra that is a love tragedy which shows uh, shakespeare's weaker dramatic grip than its immediate predecessors and next is coriolanus timon at athens henry 8 pericles were also during this period okay in fourth period we can see the influence of beaumont and fletcher apparently and this period is reawakening of his first love romance and we can see cymbeline the tempest and the winter's tale and these three plays were known as dramatic romances let's talk about shakespeare's long narrative poem venus and adonis which was written in 1593 and in 1594 he wrote the rape of lucrece and these long narrative poems it was written during when theater was closed due to plague and it was closed from 1592 to 1594 and this is just a short summary of venus and adonis venus is a goddess of love she always tries to seduce adonis who is very handsome young man and he is not at all interested in venus so this is a kind of story you have to remember these names okay venus and adonis and the rape of lucrece addressed to earl of southampton this is also a short story of the rape of lucrece and lucrece is a wife of colatine and colatine and tarquin were roman soldiers one day colatine tells tarquin that his wife lucrece is very beautiful so tarquin was very much obsessed with lucrece and he went to their house uh, during night time lucrece welcomed him welcomed tarquin for the sake of uh, because he was his husband's friend. friend but tarquin raped lucrece and at that time when colatine came to know about this he wanted to take revenge meanwhile lucrece killed herself and colatine also wants to die but one of his good friends stopped him and asked him to take revenge from tarquin so this is a very uh, tragic story of uh, the rape of lucrece you have to remember these names okay these are historical plays i have already uh, discussed it but just for the sake of uh, uh, removing confusion i separately written it henry 4 part 1 henry 4 part 2 henry 5 henry 6 part 1 henry 6 part 2 henry 6 part 3 henry 8 and this was completed by fletcher king john richard 2 and richard 3 Let's talk about chronology of important dates. So probably you won't miss any work. 1564 Shakespeare's birth. 1584 Shakespeare left his native town that is Stratford. 1592 appearance as an actor. And in 1610 Shakespeare left London for Stratford upon Avon. And 1616 Shakespeare's death. Okay, the dates of Shakespeare's plays. 1591 to 1592 he produced. Henry VI, Part One, Two, Three, Romeo and Juliet, Richard III, in fifteen uh, in nineteen fifty three, and the Comedy of Errors in nineteen fifty three. Then fifteen ninety four, Titus Andronicus, The Taming of Shrew, Love's Labour's Lost, in fifteen ninety five, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Two Gentlemen of Verona, King John, and in fifteen ninety six, he wrote Richard II, The Merchant of Venice. and in 1597 he wrote henry 4 part 1 then henry 4 part 2 then much ado about nothing in 1599 he wrote henry 5 and julius caesar in 1600 he wrote the merry the merry wives of windsor as you like it and in 1601 hamlet and 12th night in 1602 he wrote troilus and cressida and all's well that ends well in 1604 measure for measure othello and in 1605 macbeth and king lear in 1606 antony and cleopatra and coriolanus and in 1607 he wrote timons of athens and in 1608 pericles in 1609 cymbeline and in 1610 he wrote the winter's tale and in 1611 he wrote the tempest and in 1613 he wrote henry part 8 sorry henry 8 in part okay it was completed by fletcher 
so this was all about william shakespeare and from tomorrow i'll come up with summary of his work one by one and uh, if you are preparing for d triple s b k v s n v s t g t and p g t you know that ki shakespeare se around six questions seven questions aate hi aate hain you have to read it thoroughly और अगर आपको मेरा चैनल पसंद आया है तो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय चैनल दिस साइड प्रियंका गौर एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू कीप लर्निंग